I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on Chrome Music Lab's shared piano. Now, when you go to the Chrome Music Lab homepage, you'll see a lot of really fun things that you can play around with. But I want to show you this shared piano in the upper left hand corner. So when you click on it, and once it loads, you'll see a really big piano. If I were to guess, I would guess there are 88 keys on there. And to play it, you can either use your mouse and click on each key, or you can use the letters on your keyboard if you're using a computer like I am, just like you're typing, or if you're using a tablet or a phone, you can simply tap the screen. First, I want to show you some things in the settings. So where it says octaves, that's basically telling you how many keys are going to be on the piano. How big is the piano going to be or how small is it going to be? The bigger the number, the bigger the piano, and the smaller the number, the smaller the piano. So when I click on two, when you go back, you see a much smaller piano with fewer keys. For everything that we do in class, we'll be using the smallest piano possible just to make things easier. So note names, right now there are no note names written on the piano, but if you click on show, now you'll see letters for every key, and that will be very helpful for some of the things that we do. Emojis aren't super important, but let me show you what they are. So when I play any note, you'll see a little emoji. Right now it's a cow, there are a lot of different ones. And the reason why that's there, and in fact, the reason why it's called Shared Piano is because if you click on this right here where it says Copy Link, you can send this link to a friend, and you and a friend can play in the same piano room on the same piano at the same time, even if you're in different places. And so the emojis are there so you know who's, who's playing which notes. But uh, we won't need to do anything like that in class, but you might want to try it with a friend just for fun. I'm going to move my self up a little bit here and when you go back to settings where it says note trails that is basically what shows how long your notes are being held for or how short where it says scroll behavior and midi device don't even worry about that because we won't be doing anything with it but the midi device is pretty cool because you can hook up a keyboard to your computer and actually play on the shared piano with a real keyboard. So that's kind of fun actually. And let's change the sounds a little bit. Right now this is set to piano, but you've got a lot of different options here. You could choose strings. Or let's see, how about marimba? This one's really cool. Drum kit. A lot of different sounds there. And if you want to know, so if you're going to use your keyboard on your computer like a piano, let me show you how you know what to do. If you go to help up here, click on how do I play using my computer keyboard? And it will show you exactly which letters on your keyboard are going to play which letters on the piano. So you've got your white keys right here and your black keys up here. And sustain basically is going to hold the notes out a little bit longer. So play around with that. And this down and up. Now this down is actually on the letter Z. So if you tap Z, you're going to play a lower part of the piano. And if you press X, that is up, and that's going to have you play a higher part of the piano. So let me show you what I mean. So right now, if on my keyboard I'm playing the letters A, S, D, F, you'll see which keys those play. C, D, E, F is what it plays. But if I hit Z, which means down, see I hit Z, that means down. Now, if I play, I just played those same letters on my keyboard, it played a lower part of the piano. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing that I want to, sh that I want to show you is right over here, there's this scroll. And if you scroll up, that's everything that you just played. And if you press play, 
then you can play it. So that can be a really fun way to share something with someone. In fact, you can save whatever you played and you can copy the link and send it to maybe a family member or a friend and share something that you were able to play. So that's it. That's basically all you need to know for anything that we're going to do in class. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, play around with it. It's a lot of fun. I'm Mr. Klotz, as always, reminding you to keep on making music.